In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome to St Luke's. This should have been a joyful day as we gathered together in both St Luke's and in Christ Church to celebrate Mothering Sunday. Instead, we are beginning an unknown length of time when normal life is suspended. As part of that, we are doing our best to help all our parishioners and congregation members to sustain a pattern of prayer and worship. These videos are part of that, as we seek to continue with something of our Sunday pattern of readings, prayers and music with some familiar faces. St Luke's Church remains open each day, and there are other resources for prayer on our website, www.chelseaparish.org. The English word kindness traces its roots back to our language of kin, of family-like connections. In today's reading, the Gospel for Mothering Sunday, Jesus hangs on the cross, knowing the weight of the world's suffering. And aware his death is near, he urges the beloved disciple and his mother Mary to become son and mother to one another. He urges on them an act of kindness, to form a new relationship of kinship, to recognise their own deep connectedness as children of God. Many of us will also at the moment be strengthening existing relationships and building new relationships of love and care with those around us. They are relationships I hope that are kind, showing that quality of kin-like commitment that we might know from parents and family. We stand, like our Gospel, in a time when darkness is likely to descend further. But after the death and burial of Jesus, the Gospel then speaks of that marvellous moment of resurrection and the joyful moment when Jesus greets Mary Magdalene in the garden on that first Easter morning. We too will see the light of life again. We do not go through this alone, but as a community and in the love of God. But we will need relationships of kindness, kin-like relationships, to see us through the weeks ahead. So on this Mothering Sunday, we celebrate those relationships of care we have known and pray that we will open ourselves to receive the support of others in the weeks ahead. Let us pray. God of compassion, whose Son, Jesus Christ, the child of Mary, shared the life of a home in Nazareth and on the cross drew the whole human family to himself, strengthen us in our daily living, that in joy and in sorrow we may know the power of your presence to bind together and to heal. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to John. Meanwhile, standing near the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cleopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple, whom he loved, standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his own home. Here ends the reading.
as brothers and sisters in one loving family. Together, let us pray to our Heavenly Father. Lord, we pray for the world as it struggles with the threat of coronavirus. We give thanks to all who work to study and contain the virus. And we hold before you all who have been infected and those who fear its impact. Tend the sick, give rest to the weary, sustain the dying, calm the suffering, and pity the distressed. All for your love's sake, O Christ our Redeemer. We pray on this day for mothers and carers around the world, and especially for those who live in places of great hardship. Bless all who offer care to others, we pray, and support them with their own caring love. We remember your mother, Mary, and the joy she felt when you were born in the stable in Bethlehem. We pray that our homes may be pieces of love and trust, where we care for one another and for those who visit us. We pray for everyone who is sick in body, mind or spirit. In a moment of silence, we pray for those who we love, who need God's healing touch at this time. We ask that they may feel you loving and comforting them as a mother cares for her children. We remember also Mary's grief and pain as she stood on the foot of the cross. Comfort those who have died, we pray. Bring them to feast in the glory of your heavenly kingdom. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Christ, give you grace to grow in holiness, to deny yourselves, take up your cross and follow him, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you always. Amen.